Good evening, I'm Dave Carger. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies, where 24 hours ago, we launched into our annual Classic Christmas Marathon. In keeping with the holiday spirit, our programming will be filled with festive favorites right up to, and of course throughout, the big day, December 25th, which is also Humphrey Bogart's birthday. And I couldn't ask for a more appropriate lead-in than that to introduce our first film of the night. From Paramount Pictures in 1955, Humphrey Bogart, Aldo Ray, and Peter Ustinov star in We're No Angels. As the publicity poster for this film pointed out, it's the story of a strangler, a swindler, and a safecracker. These three wise men bring new meaning to the idea of being home for the holidays. That's because they're escaped convicts on the run. Their home away from home, or in this case, their hideaway from Devil's Island Prison, is a quaint coastal town in French Guiana. It's there that they cross paths with Leo G. Carroll, a merchant whose business is in dire straits. Before long, they've gotten mixed up with the merchant's family, played by Joan Bennett and Gloria Talbot, as well as the actual owner of the store, Carol's relative, Basil Rathbone. While comedy wasn't exactly Humphrey Bogart's forte, he could be devilishly witty when the script called for it. Thanks to his dry sense of humor, he would often make light of some situation through banter and clever comebacks, even in his darkest dramas and mysteries. It's a shame that he wasn't offered more lighthearted fare because you're about to see a natural born straight man in action. Here from Paramount Pictures in 1955, directed by Michael Curtiz, We're No Angels. We're No Angels was Humphrey Bogart's last feature film under the direction of Michael Curtiz. Between 1937 and 1944, the two had worked together seven times while under long-term contracts over at Warner Brothers. Their most popular collaboration, of course, being Casablanca in 1942. Curtiz had also helmed two of Basil Rathbone's most memorable pictures with Errol Flynn, Captain Blood in 1935, and The Adventures of Robin Hood in 1938. And while this mid-50s Paramount comedy wasn't out to top or even match those earlier box office successes, it did end up inspiring a remake of sorts 34 years later, 1989's We're No Angels, starring Robert De Niro, Sean Penn, and Demi Moore. But with a heavily reworked screenplay, that film bears little resemblance to this holiday favorite. Up next, as we continue our classic Christmas marathon, Dick Van Dyke discovers it's better to give and receive in a caper comedy from 1967.